I have lights with clamps. Nice. And <laughs> I have the timer. Unfortunately, the heat um, mat did not come. <laughs> okay. So all I have are these things. And is the um, timer like a, is that like a kitchen timer? Yeah. Okay. So that's not going to work. Oh, shoot. Why? You need the, you need like the plug timer, like that automatically would turn it on and off for you. Oh, would turn on and off the lights for you. Yes. That was my bad. I did not understand that. No, no, that's okay. I will choose the right one and have it sent to you. I have two heat lamps and mm -hmm. these are bulbs. So it just looks like a regular light bulb, but big. Yeah. And did you order both kinds of the, the outside or just the one kind? I ordered both, but only mm -hmm. one came in. A few of them are still on the way. Yeah. So this is what we have for now. And you've got the most important part. So I have the light bulbs and I have two of these and they mm -hmm. have little clamps on them. And does the bulb fit pretty well? Fits perfectly. Yeah, I already okay. tested. The light works. It's super bright and screws in. Whoa, that's really bright. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see if we can get it plugged in. What? This, oh. this is really <laughs> that's Hello. probably a little too high. Okay, hi. I'm here. Hi. Hello. So I have the lights. So I think I have these... these two sixes, all you need is one light for now. Okay. Perfect. I think one of them should be good. So They're if pretty. you squeeze above it, yeah, squeeze there. There you go. And then I would just put the two of them together right in the middle. And then if you can put the light even closer. Yeah. Even happier. Wow. There you go. They're going to thrive. That's all they need. And then, um, yeah, perfect. And is that going to drive you insane with that much light right there? Or is that okay? No, I don't think so. Because yeah. it's really like condensed right there. I know <laughs> some people to get extra light on the plants and or to have the bo light bother them less, put like light. an aluminum foil enclosure around it if it starts okay. to bother you you can kind of aluminum foil it in our call from last week too there they are there they are um yes. they could pretty much be wherever wherever you have a space that you know obviously gets more heat i mm -hmm. don't have a radiator or anything like that so that's why i have the heating mat on the mm -hmm. way yeah yeah it could be in like your basement it could be yours is in your laundry room so yeah. my question is does everyone need a grow light um it depends so I would say in my experience, pretty much everyone needs a grow light unless you Got have it. a greenhouse or you have like a bay window that faces south and gets east sun, south sun and west sun. Got it. Some people have that and that's good enough, but you need either eight hours of not like bright light, but eight hours of like a direct sunbeam every day yep. or you need a grow light. Got it. Or you need an outside yep. like greenhouse or a cold frame where you're like in full natural sun all day. You want the bright light. In fact, you want cool, like cool temperature light. Okay. Which is the 5,000 Kelvin and up. Like warm light or heat light won't do anything for the plants. Got it. So warm, it but they won't, they won't get enough light. They'll go like looking for more, more sun. Understood. Um, and so the heat mat should be there probably today. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. And then I'll sort you out with a timer to find okay. the right kind. Um, because then it really is just set it and forget it because it'll, the timer Perfect. will just turn on and off all by itself. And then that's really it. And the heat mat is on the same schedule as the light as well. So the heat mat, I just leave them plugged in. Okay. I don't, I don't have them on a timer at all. Um, I, when I originally started with heat mats, I actually got the thermostat because I was worried that if you just leave it plugged in all the time, it will just be, it'll overheat. But the truth is it doesn't, it just stays just sort of a little bit warm all the time. Um, okay. given how cold my laundry room is, it never felt too warm. I think the gotcha. thermostat is for people who are in a place that's already warm and there's a danger in overheating or something. But mm -hmm. for me, it has a built-in thermostat already in, in the mat. So yeah, when I get that, said it should be arriving this afternoon slash evening. So hopefully that gets in and I'll plug that in. My other question was, so we set up my Orta pots on Tuesday and now yep. it's Friday. So when is the next time I need to water it? Right. I leave Monday. So I would just, and you leave early in the morning. So I would just do it Sunday evening. So you don't forget because a week at, at this time of year, when the weather's cool, a week is sufficient. Usually mine go like 10 days to two weeks between needing refills. 
So I just try and always do it like on a weekend. So I don't forget if you have them outside. So for anybody watching, if it's outside and it's warm out and it's starting to get windy, it's maybe like May, then it could be every maybe two to three days. If, especially if it's warm and windy and the air's dry. Um, If it's indoors, I've never had them dry out in faster than a week indoors. You know, schedules happen and people are traveling and life happens and life is happening for me next week. My fiance will be here and he has no idea what he's doing with any of this stuff. What what are like the to-dos that I should give him that I can write on a sticky note? No to-dos on a sticky note, none. Really the only thing is to keep an eye on the timer because yep. sometimes timers malfunction. It, if it turns on in the day and turns off at night, it's everything's fine. Um, that and that should good. be pretty obvious. And if that's not happening, then maybe he should work on fixing the timer if he can, or turn it on in the morning and turn it off at night. Usually, you know, right off the bat, if it's a bad timer. And hopefully I'll be able to test that before I leave him out to fend for himself. But yeah, that's the, I mean, that's the beauty of the system is that once it's set up, it goes easily goes a week without any inter- intervention at all. So I have lettuce and I have tomato. Mm-hmm. How long do you think it'll take for them to grow at this point? Ooh, it's so temperature dependent. So lettuce sprouts fast in cool weather. So you might mm. see a little green before you leave. It's about a week. Um, the tomatoes with the heat mat, it's usually a week, but without a heat mat, it's a couple weeks. I bet... If you put the heat mat on today, they'll sprout while you're gone. You'll probably come home to sprouts. That would be might, really fun. You might get a tiny little bit of green on the lettuce before you go. Temperature depends. I know. I've, I've been checking every day. Oh, I know, right? Just so like, do we have anything? 